Uh, my name's John Bailey. We're here at uh, IT Projects. Uh, obviously, it's an art organisation. I've probably been doing art now for just over three years. Uh, a massive breakdown, massive meltdown, just not on this planet for quite a number of years. I, you name it, they threw it at me. There's an old, dig an old through a tree. Now it worked, and a lot of that was me, really. Just, and uh, obviously, RT come along. And he says, would you like to go to RT? It's an art organisation. So me, art, the nearest I've been to art in my life is emulsion in walls and glass in skirting boards. It wasn't my thing. So uh, I turned up. Uh, it was a men's cree on a Friday. And when you've not sort of interacted with anybody for years, it's a bit of a shock. And I sat over in the corner there, just listening to people talk, doing bits of art and that. It's not bad, this. Anyhow, I went home, I'm not going back, I'm not going back. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, well, I'll give it a go. Anyhow, I drove here, not been in the car, was, I got here. And over the weeks, you're just listening to conversations and artistic things and people bouncing off each other. I come out with a couple of sentences and it was acceptable. Then I started whittling there, uh, carving. Uh, there was a knot in a piece of wood and I don't know why, I just thought, I'm going to get short of this knot. I could have just chipped it out. Over about six weeks, I sanded it out and I made a walking stick. I thought, ah, it's all right. And uh, with depression and mental health, I this was me. I don't like it, but I do really, but I'm not telling anybody. I kept turning up and they says to me, do you want to come on a Thursday? I did. And then uh, obviously basic techniques, and tone, texture. Didn't know any of the words. Being on said, do you know what kind of make up was that? Nah. Uh, just. And then over the course of a few months, this thing just kicked in, where there was bad thoughts. It wasn't, it was, it's a process. That's the top and bottom of it is. The planning of a piece, the working of a piece, and it's free, it's an eagle eye. It's, you're walking the dogs in the morning, it's cold, frost on the floor. Even diamonds, look at the black, look at this. You just see things different. At my age, I could just come and just create. Then I thought, nah, I've got to take this further. So, uh, with my age, etc., sat down with my wife and discussed the future. Well, this is what I can do and this is keeping me right. So I applied for college, yeah, I excelled at that. I'm on my second year now. By the end of the year, I'm going to have GCSE maths and English. Plus, uh, I, I, I'm not blowing my own trumpet, I will get distinctions in most of my art. I will. RT has, it supplies a place for me to get off the roundabout. Cool would be in college, granddad, dad, husband, rebuilding your life. And then this place, you just get off the roundabout. Get a creation, no restrictions. No, nothing, just respect everybody's space and just do art. And uh, at college, um, my plans are, I will get a degree. I will go ahead there uh, another four or five years of uh, hard work, but enjoyable work. It's, it's, a, it's a fantastic buzz and it is, it's a proper eye. Uh, if you've never discovered that, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a shame. Yeah. I think that's really good sleep. Really like
Doing that has given me the foundations from being dyslexic to take that on board to turn up at an English and maths class to walk in an IT suite. The helps there. Uh, all of a sudden, you learn what a full stop is and a comma, and you can keep a grip on a paragraph, and this world just opens up. And it's not his fault I uh, missed out on that, but I'm just playing catch up, and it's absolutely fantastic. Right, from 30 milligram of Prozac, an antipsychotic drug. Two seven point five zopiclones, hundred and fifty milligram of anatriptyline, hundred and fifty trazodone. I'm taking the odd zopiclone at night. That's it. Art as in the morning. You wait. I, I I'm old. I use a lot of tools now. What people said to use about mental health. I am at college, I'm holding down a life, yeah. I do my jobs around the house. Yes, I do struggle sometimes, but art, art is, I've, I, in, my, in my life, I've done class A's, I've drank, I've done, I've done enough stuff to let me work anymore, but art has, <laughs> it's took all them feelings away, and in three years, from 20 years of mental health, year and a half, psychiatric ward, three months in a lock-up ward, ECT, proper breakdown, SETI for 14 years, uh, your life was in turmoil, I created turmoil, so I live in turmoil, your family grow up like that, and yeah, it was out there, but a lot of it, I didn't want it. Uh, envelopes, bills, whatever. Ah, it's out there. Get my life into perspective. Sort my bills out, sort my life out. Sort my relationship out with my wife and my children. Have a life uh, and go to college and uh, that's what I've done. People can spot me work who know me, usually there's a, a lot of bold marks. But the reason why I really do me that, I always put in a piece in the picture what nobody knows. And that's that's my secret. And uh, if I can get somebody to look at a picture, one of the pieces, just look and try and analyse it. That's the job done. It's my own work. The more I'm learning about art, I, I haven't particularly found a style I really like. Because to me, and I'd sooner it's the process on everything, the planning, the preparation, the end piece. Some people say they're good, some people say they don't, they're not. But I do care, but I don't. I just keep experimenting and experimenting. You might do 20 pieces, four are good, but it's me, me own work. I, I, <laughs> it's the process, that's the top and bottom of it is. You plant the seed in my head and I'll push the boundaries on every piece of work I do. And that's it, it's Miss Piggy, Miss Piggy. <laughs> It was when I first discovered art, it was looking at shape and form. So uh, obviously you just tried it to you just tried to learn about shapes. So this was the last one. And I looked and I thought to myself, I can make that into this piggy. If anyone asks me, Kermit had a contract out on this piggy and had a terminated. But the real bit of this art was 
It'd be in the 80s, I worked as a glazier and was working at an abattoir. And unfortunately, I was a bit disgusted about the way the animals were killed because obviously we had to go there and see what was happening. And once it was all over, we could go and repair the glass. And the pork cracklings, it's just, it's something just what stuck in my head. Uh, about Miss Piggy, so I can laugh and joke, but uh, yeah, that's Miss Piggy. That's what I mean about my art. It's I don't have to divulge the real meaning behind it, and you just got me on that one. <laughs> These are just playing. Uh, that's me just carving in a set print so. uh, this, this one here, it was based on a study in Egan Shields. He called it a self-portrait. I call it a self-portrait of most humans. It's like, it's, that's just like the hidden thing in the story. It's like you're out of self and you're in a self. It's like, yeah. Uh, um, that's what fascinates me about art because this is stuff there, uh, early stuff, but and then obviously um, progressing to stuff like that. It's just there. Uh, this these pictures I've done, and uh, you just start pencil. You start uh, when you're not trying to draw something. You just, I can't well, say the word doodling, but we're not supposed to say that, it's sketching. When you're doodling, and you... Oh. Uh, all of a sudden, and you look back, and nine times out of ten, it's good. I, I don't, I don't really want to know where the images come from, but I do, from my subconscious. But since I've discovered that, a visual mind, you just store it and store it and store it. And then when you sit down and do a piece, it's there. Or if it's not, do another piece and subconsciously store it and store it. And then when the time's ready, and then before you know where you are, there's loads of work done. And you've still not done that one. But it's, it's, it, it is. It is a legal high, yes. and that's it. It's it's a, it, and it's not an addiction. It's a passion. People who do it with you, there's a lot of people with the same mentality. Where it's 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 a passion. <laughs>